Suturava, Yako Yesti. Welcome back to another Old Church Slavonic video. It has been so long since I've done one of these. Um, and I've been working on this uh, for quite a while. Uh, life just gets in the way. But without further ado, let's finally, finally get into it. Now this is just going to be another case video, but uh, this is the second to last case video case video and then after the cases we are finally going to move on to pronouns um, or I could you know also make uh, more uh, different types of case videos showcasing how exactly they work and uh, it's uh, whatever I can get to uh, in the time span that I have so we are going to be looking at the uh, feminine ya declension differences uh, first off uh, as we remember, the sound yi is spelled with an e, uh, most times, you know, sometimes it's just invisible. Oftentimes, a, u, and n are found instead of ya, yu, and yin after the consonants ch, sh, z, sh, th, and zh, th. Without further ado, let's get into it. For the first word that we have is stitsya. Stitsya, stitsya. This means path. For the nominative, it is obviously stitsya. For the accusative, and I'd like to highlight that the nominative is different than the accusative this time. For the accusative, stitson, stitson, stitson. For the genitive, stitsin, stitsin, stitsin. For the dative, Stitsi, stitsi, stitsi for the instrumentative. Stitseon, stitseon, stitseon. And for the locative, stitsi, stitsi, stitsi. For the vocative, stitse, stitse, stitse. Now for the dual, for the nominative, stitsi. And for the accusative, stitsi. For the genitive, stitsu, stitsu, stitsu. For the dative, stitsama, stitsama, stitsama. For the instrumentative, stitsama, stitsama, stitsama. For the locative, stitsu, stitsu, stitsu. For the plural, nominative, stitsin. And for the accusative, stitsin. For the genitive, stitze, stitze, stitze. For the dative, stitzame, stitzame, stitzame. For the instrumentative, stitzami, stitzami, stitzami. And for the locative, stitzache, stitzache, stitzache. Now, for our next example, we'll be looking at zmia. Zmia. For the nominative, we have zmia, zmia, zmia. For the accusative, zmion, zmion, zmion. For the genitive, zmian, zmian, zmian. For the dative, zmi, zmi, zmi. For the instrumentative, zmion. Zmiyeon, zmiyeon. For the locative, zmi, zmi, zmi. For the vocative, zmi, zmi, zmi. For the dual, zmi, zmi. And for the accusative, zmi. For the genitive, zmiu, zmiu. Zmiu. For the dative, zmiyama, zmiyama, zmiyama. And same thing for the instrument. <coughs> for the instrumentative, zmiyama, zmiyama, zmiyama. For the locative, zmiu, zmiu, zmiu. Now for the plural, zmian, zmian, 
And for the accusative, zmian, zmian, zmian. For the genitive, we have zmi, zmi, zmi. For the dative, zmiyam, zmiyam, zmiyam. For the instrumentative, zmiyami, zmiyami, zmiyami. And for the locative, zmiyacha, zmiyacha, zmiyacha. And I realized that I didn't put the translation for this. Um, uh, this word, zmiya, means uh, snake or serpent. So, yeah, my bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, so remember, zmia means serpent. Write that. Write that down if you're writing it down. So the uh, the words that fit into this exception is davitsa, which means girl. Davitsa. Ovitsa. Ovitsa. Sheep. Patitsa. Patitsa. Bird. Diminitsa, diminitsa, prison. Dusha, which means soul. Dusha. Um, Pridacha, 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 which means fable. Luja, 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 which means lie. Svashta, 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 candle. Nujda, Nujda. Nujda means need, to need something. Odejda, odejda, odejda means clothing. Now, as in the old declension, k, g, and h become t, t, and s before e and a. So let's look at an example here. Um, sluga. Sluga. The nominative is. Oh, my bad. Uh, sluga. There we go. Sluga. For the nominative is uh, sluga. For the accusative is slugon. 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 For the genitive, slugi. 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 For the dative, sludza. 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 For the instrumentative, Slugoyon, slugoyon, slugoyon. For the locative, sludza, sludza, sludza. For the vocative, slugo, slugo, slugo. Now let's move on to the dual. For the nominative for the dual is sludza, sludza, sludza. For the genitive, slugo. Slugo, slugo. For the dative, slugama, slugama, slugama. For the instrumentative, slugama, slugama, slugama. For the locative, slugu, slugu, slugu. Now for the plural. For the plural, nominative. Sludzi, sludzi, sludzi. <clears throat> and same thing for the accusative would be sludzi. Uh, for the genitive, sluga, sluga, sluga. For the dative, slugam. Slugam, slugam. For the instrumentative, slugami, slugami, slugami. For the locative, slugacha, slugacha, slugacha. And uh, this word means servant. Uh, for the other words, um, uh, for this uh, particular type of declension, we have monka, 
Monka, Monka, which means torture. Raka, 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 which means river. Kaniga, 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 which means book. Noga, 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 which means leg. Mulcha, 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 which means fly, like as in the insect. Snacha, 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 which means daughter-in-law. It is worthy noting that certain nouns in the Yada Clension have the nominative singular ending in E. Feminine nouns that denote person or abstract concepts end in the suffix ini, etc. Uh, so this little note right here is that uh, certain nouns will just have a nominative singular in the ending of E. Uh, everything else should just go pretty much the same though. Alright, so uh, for the feminine nouns that denote person or abstract concepts, uh, they will end in uni, uni, uni. So let's look at this. Pustuni, 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 which means desert. Bogini, 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 goddess. Gospodini, 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 which means mistress. Christianini, 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 which means Christian woman. Poganini, 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 means pagan woman. Samaryanini, 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 which means Samaritan. Rabini, 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 which means a slave woman. Um, uh, Blagostini, 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 which means goodness. Gradini, 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 which means pride. Svintini, Svintini, Svintini which means holiness. Otherwise, each noun in the Yada Clension should be declined like Zemlya. Nouns with the suffix E, for example, Ladi, boat, some of those nouns are feminine, however most are masculine. It's uh, examples. Um, krabi, krabi, Krabli means basket. Mlni, Mlni, Mlni. It's hard to say. Mlni, lightning. Svini, Svini, Svini. It is also worth mentioning that most nouns in the A and Ya declension are feminine, but the following are masculine and others denoting masculine persons. Vladika, 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 which means ruler or master. Bianitsa, 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 drunkard. Interesting how this is masculine for a drunkard. I, I find that very interesting. I can see why Vladika would be masculine, but Bianitsa, <laughs> I don't know, I just, I just kind of find it funny. Uh, sluga, 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 means servant. Um, ubitsa, 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 means murderer. Yunosha, 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 means young man. Bali, Bali, Bali means doctor. Kanigachi, Kanigachi, Kanigachi means scribe. I love saying this word, Kanigachi. Sokachi, Sokachi, Sokachi means cook. And last but not least, Sondi, Sondi, Sondi means judge. 
I thank you all for watching this video. Um, I should have one up within the next, I want to say, two weeks. Um, uh, if nothing else new comes in my life. Uh, been really trying to uh, get through a lot of different books recently. And uh, just honestly, uh, living life a bit, uh, you know, just getting money from a job and so on and so forth. I do really love Old Church Slavonic. Uh, there's just some other things, you know, kind of take uh, a higher presence in my life. And it kind of gets left in the dust. But I, I'm always working on something like for videos, for content, for the server. For my discord server uh, i'm always working on something uh but i hope you guys enjoyed um and i'll see you in the next video bye bye